Welcome to the Two Minute Treasures Tip Podcast. I'm your host, Cindy Michael with MoneyMinder, and today we're going to talk about recruiting volunteers. So Todd writes, we rely on volunteers to fulfill our mission. Lately, my group has been struggling to get volunteers. Do you have any suggestions for attracting a more generationally diverse pool of volunteers? Well, Todd, this is becoming a challenge for a lot of groups. Family dynamics are changing. uh, People are working longer hours. They're working later into life. And in general, they just have less time to volunteer. You add to that the fact that we have five generations in the volunteer workforce right now, and that's requiring groups to get really creative about how they design volunteer opportunities that appeal to a broader group of people. So here are some broad stroke things that I'd consider. Um, First of all, can you break up some tasks that you need help with into smaller pieces that can be done either remotely and or maybe at flexible times? Um, Can you carve up tasks so volunteers feel that their skill sets are being better utilized? You might consider how and where you're reaching out to volunteers. That means looking at the age groups of your potential volunteers and how they consume media. Um, Keep in mind like texting, emailing, phone calling, social media, they may or may not appeal to different groups. So remember to meet them where they're at. And maybe you could consider, are there ways to encourage intergenerational involvement? For example, some families have three or more generations living in the same community or maybe even in the same household. There are some really great benefits to be had by having multi-generational volunteer opportunities. So think about how you can offer these experiences to your group and leverage this as yet another benefit to volunteering. Good luck with your recruiting efforts. My name is Cindy Michael, and this is your two-minute treasures tip for today.